Clifford, my big red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. Clifford. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. It's your turn to be the car, and I'll be the stoplight. Great. Can I help you, Sheriff Lewis? I need some moving boxes, Pedro. Boxes? Do you have any old packing crates or boxes I could use? Sure do. So you and T-Bone are really moving, huh? <gasps> moving? Yep. We're moving tomorrow. T-Bone's moving tomorrow. I've got to tell Clifford. We're only moving a couple of blocks, a little closer to the sheriff's station, you know? We're just glad you're not moving off of Birdwell Island. Oh, no, we'd never do that. Clifford, Clifford, T-Bone is leaving Birdwell Island. <gasps> what? T-Bone, our friend, is moving off Birdwell Island tomorrow. I don't think so, Cleo. It's true. I just heard Sheriff Lewis say it with my own ears. But why didn't T-Bone tell us? I don't know. Maybe he didn't want to upset us. Wow. Poor T-Bone's been acting so happy, and all the time he knew he was moving. That's just like our T-Bone. Sweet little guy. Well, if T-Bone doesn't want us to know, we have to pretend like we don't. Okay, Cleo? Oh, but we can't just let him go without a special goodbye. You're right. So let's make today T-Bone's big day. We'll make his last day on the island the best day of his life. T-Bone, it's so wonderful to see you. Uh, yeah, it's great to see you too, Clifford. Hey, Cleo, are we gonna play with your hedgehog toy today? Sure, only it isn't my toy anymore. <gasps> it isn't? I want you to have it. Eh, well, something to remember me by. Oh. In, in case you ever forget her. Well, okay. Thanks, Cleo. I know this is your most favorite toy in the whole wide world. <sighs> yeah, it is.
So, what do you want to do today, T? Uh, I don't know. What do you guys want to do? Anything you want to do, T-Bone. Really? Well, um, uh, okay. Um, let's go to the butcher shop. Well, it looks like I've got company. Hungry company. Here you go, guys. Welcome, Clifford. Yum! This is great! What's this, Clifford? I want you to have it, T-Bone. Why? It's just that you love Bone so much, and who knows when you might get another one. Well, uh, okay, thanks. This is really big. Come and help me eat it, big guy. Oh, thanks, T-Bone. You too, Cleo. Feels good. You know, T-Bone, the sun shines everywhere. Even on places not on the island. Not that you'll ever not be on the island, T-Bone. Yeah, I guess. So what's next, T-Bone? If you could do anything in the world today, anything at all, what would you want to do? I don't know. Play tag? But isn't there anything really special that you've always wanted to do? Special? Something you might not be able to do someplace else? Well, there is one thing. I've always wanted to fly! <laughs> Go, T-Bone! This is so great! I love it! Look out! I'm coming in for a landing! <sighs> now that was really special. Thanks, Clifford. You're really welcome, T-Bone. I'll always remember you like this, T-Bone. Always. Uh, what's going on, guys? How come you're being so nice to me? We're always nice to you, T-Bone. Do you guys know something I don't know? Do you know something that you think we don't know? No, I don't know something that I think that you don't know that I know I don't think. Hey, guys, let's go up to the lighthouse and take one last look at the island together. Great idea, Clifford. Last one, there's a rotten dog, Biscuit. What does he mean, one last look? We used to have some great times on Birdwell Island. Used to? Yeah, we sure did. Digging in the sand together. Remember how T-Bone loved to eat? Remember that day we ate all those doggy doodle dog treats? Or the time T-Bone almost beat Mac in a big race? Wait a minute, guys. How come you keep talking about the way things used to be? Because everything's gonna change after tomorrow. It is? We know, T-Bone. Know what? That you're moving, T-Bone. We know that you're moving tomorrow. We know. 
Yeah, so? So? We'll never see you again. <laughs> Why not? We're just moving down the street. Down the street? Down the street. Yeah, Sheriff Lewis wants to be closer to the sheriff's station, so we're moving down the street. He's moving down the street. He's moving down the street, baby. Yes, T-Bone's moving down the street. What's the matter with you guys? We thought you were moving off of Birdwell Island, T-Bone. What made you think that? Well, <laughs> I heard Sheriff Lewis say you were moving, and I thought he meant you were moving far away. I guess we just didn't get the whole story, T-Bone. Next time, I think I'll make sure I get all the information before I start passing it around. We're sorry we were acting so strange, T. Don't be sorry, guys. This was a great day. It was? Yeah. I mean, I know you guys like me and everything, but... Today, you really made me feel like a special friend. That's because you are a special friend. A very special friend. Uh, by the way, T-Bone, uh, since you're not really leaving the island, can I have my hedgehog toy back? <gasps> <laughs> and the Spiffy Yard. One sunny afternoon, Speckle's friends asked him to play ball. Speckle said he'd love to, but first he had to clean the yard. It looked like a lot of work. Speckle laughed. He didn't think it was work at all. Then he strapped two brushes to the bottom of his feet and skated his front walk clean. It looked like so much fun, everyone wanted to try. So Darnell and Luna skipped across the yard using their jump ropes to make leaves scatter into a pile. Robbie skateboarded along the fence with a paintbrush. Speckle pushed Reba on a swing and she wiped the windows clean. Speckle and his friends made the work so much fun, before they knew it, the job was done. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> his toys. <laughs> oh, I can't wait till Cleo and Clifford get here. We're gonna have so much fun. Uh-oh. Whoa! Oof. Cats? 
Oh, no. Dogs aren't supposed to have cats in their yard. What would Clifford and Cleo say? I think he wants to play with us. <laughs> it sounds like fun. Say that. We've got to do something to make them go away. What? I've always heard that cats hate dogs. <laughs> so if we just bark at them real loud, they'll run away. Mm, I don't know, Cleo. Have I ever steered you wrong? I wish you wouldn't ask me that. Well, it's worth a try. knows that. So, we just have to get these cats to chase a mouse right out of T-Bone's backyard. Yeah, sounds like a pretty good idea. Mm, but where do we get a mouse? Right here! Ta-da! Squeak! Squeak! Eek! A mouse! A scary mouse! Squeak! Squeak! Eek! Eek! Squeak! Squeak! Wow! They're doing a show! The fluffy one is supposed to be a woodchuck or something. Squeak! It's a mouse! Oh no! A big mouse! Uh, very good! <laughs> Great show! Are they coming down to chase me? Not exactly. <laughs> <gasps> They're clapping? Well, at least they know talent when they see it. Okay, you guys, we are dogs, those are cats. 
We're supposed to make them leave. Are you sure dogs have to get rid of cats? Well, that's what I've always heard. Of course it's true. Just like it's true that all cats hate water. Uh-huh. That's definitely true. I've heard lots of people say that. It's too bad it isn't raining. That would scare those cats away. Yeah. There's not a cloud in the sky. Hmm. 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 But we could make a pretend rain. How? How? I'll what? show you. Okay, you guys, I'm ready to make it rain. Here it comes! Those cats are gonna hate this! <laughs> They're really gonna run! What are they doing now? Uh, some sort of water game, I think. Oh, boy! I love water! <laughs> hey, where's the water, Clifford? I turned it on! Full blast! I think it's stuck. Here it comes! Whoa! Not us! Sam! Somebody turn it off! Yeah! Turn it off! Let's turn it off for him. Come on, this way. Oh, watch it. Oh, no, that way. <laughs> hey, someone turned it off. The cats did it. Who? The cats hate water. Really? Betty and I love water. Wow. I guess we heard wrong. Wait a minute. I'm not so sure these guys are cats. Cats chase mice. So how come you two didn't chase the mouse that was in the yard? <laughs> First of all, we knew it was you, Cleo. And second of all, not all cats chase mice. We never do. Unless they ask us to, like, if we're playing tag or something. Well, I've always heard the cats are afraid of dogs. We are? Especially when we bark. Ruff! <laughs> That's not scary. We love it when you do that. Yeah, it looks like fun. Gosh, you two aren't at all like we thought you were. Yeah, I guess we should get to know you before we decide what you're like. Yeah, every cat is different. Just like every dog is different. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, so if you're not scared of dogs, and you don't chase mice, and you don't hate water, what do you do? We like to play. Especially tag. Tag? That's one of our favorites, too. Then let's play. Not it. Not it. Not it. Not it! All right, I'll be it. Here I come! <laughs> Clifford and I know that it's important to always tell the truth. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be truthful. I love my new bird bath. Cleo, where are you? Whoa! <laughs> oh no, I broke it. <gasps> what happened? Uh, I don't know. Clifford did it. Clifford, you broke my bird bath. Huh? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. T-Bone said so. He didn't break it, Cleo. I did. It was an accident. I'm really sorry. How can I trust you if you lie to me, T-Bone? You made me yell at Clifford, and he didn't even do anything. 
anything. I'm sorry. From now on, I'm gonna tell the truth. Right from the start. Sometimes it's really hard, but telling the truth is always the right thing to do. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be truthful.